Anglesey. Always like coming to Anglesey. First ever time here was last year and resounding impression was just what an incredible racetrack. When the weather's good like this, it is beautiful. I don't think I can think of another racetrack that is as good looking and as pretty as this place. On top of that, fabulous place to ride. Some really nice sweeping flowing corners, good technical sections, really good camber for most of the track. Yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenal place and it's it really is kind of Britain's best kept secret. It's, it's not a widely known circuit. And what better place to come and test the new BMW F900R Cup bike? Next year at British Superbikes, they've scrapped the Ducati challenge and it's now gonna be the BMW F900R Cup. Bikes are under 12 grand for a prepped race bike. It's designed to be cheap, simple, cost-effective racing that's kind of accessible to, to anyone. So here today, we've got one of the first kind of prepared bikes for the series. Um, it's fresh off a bunch of the guys at BSB having to play on it at Cadwell. So I'm gonna get out there, give it a send and see what it feels like. These videos only happen because of the support and help from our sponsors. Support the companies that support us. So let's get a few laps in of this absolutely stunning Anglesey circuit. So this is the bog standard BMW F900R road bike. This is what forms the basis of the cup bike we'll be riding this afternoon. And it's a good little bike. The engine's the corker. Sounds incredible. Proper fun little thing to ride. This little F900. Bar, bar, bar. You back in your lineup. So there we are, stock bike. Actually, pretty good on track. Right, bloody hell, that's loud. <laughs> so, race bike. Here we go. I'm gonna fly it out when this goes past him. This thing is loud. No ABS interfering, no traction control interfering. Flips onto its side of it nicer. Sounds ridiculous! <laughs> so loud! Right! What a brilliant thing! That is a lot of fun. Bloody hell it's loud though. <laughs> okay, so first up, let's talk about the F900R. Had a few laps this morning on the stock road one here on track, not on anything special tire wise, just a kind of sports touring tire. Really blew me away. Anglesey Circuit is a really fun, really fast flowing track. A couple of short awkward corners, but generally a real flowing circuit. And that F900R just loved it around here. Then we jumped onto the race bike and hidden in that fairly unassuming road bike is an absolute minx of a thing, a properly, properly fun track hooligan. Very impressed. 
So what have they done to the race bike to change it compared to the road bike? So a lot and not a lot in the same sentence. Really, they've tried to stick as much as possible keeping the standard components on these bikes. The whole point of this F900 Cup is about simple, effective racing without having to pour fortunes into prepping and tuning a bike. We've got KTEC fork internals and revalve. And again, you'll notice the fork, the travel of the forks, noticeably shorter than the road bike. It's got a KTEC rear shock. The Fortis rear sets are like a different plate over the side of the swinging arm so the rear sets are a little bit complicated to get them to work on this chassis but rear sets a quick shifter from hm a little bit of sort of fiberglass race bodywork that's kind of the limit of the modifications it's not a completely turned on its head bike the cup spec bikes will have a locked ecu to stop anyone fiddling with that they won't have abs they won't have traction control and they'll use the hm quick shifter so they'll be a very tightly controlled formula without loads of scope for chassis tuning and modification the point is there's your bike ride it it's about the person sat on top of it and how hard and what they're going to do and i think there's a hell of a lot to be said for that in making those changes what they've done to the f900r is take a bike that's decent competent and actually surprised me how good it was on track and just made it one of the most fun thrashable chuckable track bikes i've ridden in a long time i don't want to jinx this but it genuinely feels uncrashable you could push it so hard it's quite a long chassis but it just makes it so forgiving you know pushing on that tire which have a look in a minute the tire is absolutely fried by the end of today and you could still push it till it was sliding around you could still push it till it was moving and it never never really felt like it was going to bite you the only oddities i found with it is when i absolutely kind of pushed my braking as hard as possible maybe a bit too late a bit too regressive with the downshift and started getting it sliding around on the way into a turn it doesn't feel to me like a bike that likes to be drifted or slid around in this guys maybe maybe there's something wrong with me maybe i can't do it but normally at a point where i'd be backing it in and tipping the bike in this thing does not like to be wheels out of line and then tipping into a corner it seems to prefer to be ridden in line smooth flowing keep it all neat and just keep the momentum up and when you ride it like that it's an absolutely phenomenal bit of kit kept being surprised at how well it would pull into a to an apex on the sort of slow second gear corners you could just throw it on its side and it would just carve a line straight to the apex and then fire out again being 105 ish horsepower you could really really use the throttle and really wang it on hard and you're never having to worry about gotta get a good line so i can get maximum drive it was just take the corners as they come snap the throttle open and ride off with a big smile on your face i genuinely think these are going to make for some really really close racing next year in the championship they've had 200 odd riders register their interest for the f900 cup they've got a grid of 40 bikes organized there's rumors it might go to more you know watch this space but it's sounding really promising for a fun cost effective and close fault racing challenge next year i for one cannot wait for the first round of the f900 r cup awesome